Hello everyone, today we are creating the lighthouse. So I am starting with planning my colors. Uh, first, I am creating the image of the similar image that I'm going to scratch off in the future with oil pastel. And I do create layer by layer the uh, moonshine. Um, and then I'm going to cover the water areas as well. I will make sure all the colors are pretty much blend in between to make sure there is no uh, area that I missed and did not cover with the oil pastel. So now, when it's done, we can cover it with the ink and when ink is dry, I will start to scratch off the basic shapes of the clouds and the water. And to create this a certain light effect um, of the moonshine and um, the clouds and the water that is not too bright and not too detailed, I use a little piece of the sponge on the water. You want to go with horizontal uh, moves if you do something similar and then you're going to we can switch to the details. So I'm creating the moon itself and I'm going to create all the highlights um, on the clouds and on the water and then um, I will uh, move um, towards um, the lighthouse and the shore itself and um, one thing that is very important is to make sure that your lines are bold enough and especially they're going to get bolder and brighter when they close it to our source of light which is the moon. With um, the shore I'm going to outline um, the uh, rocks, um, the shape of the rocks and the shape of the waves next to the shore and you can see that those lines are pretty random and the shape of the rocks can be pretty random as well because there, is, there will be never a perfect shape on those and uh, once again make sure that um, I'm making sure that the highlight areas are really bright and bold and then I'm creating a little tree and then I'm going to start to create um, the lighthouse as well. When it comes to creating the lighthouse itself, I am going to put more uh, bright uh, lines. It means I'm gonna scratch off more on the right side of the highlight because the right side is closer to the moon and it's going to be lighter. So you're going to have the effects of the highlight and shadow on the left side. So uh, when you do um, the stripes, you can go way brighter and scratch off pretty much almost completely the stripes that supposedly lighter and then scratch off a little bit less the left side but because I planned the certain um, colors and I put certain colors there before um, it's already makes it easier and whatever color I'm going to scratch off on the uh, left side is not going to be as bright as the right highlighted side and for the light coming out of the lighthouse you can go back to the little sponge and um, do the same technique scratch off it slightly and then add brighter lines um, that will go closer to the light itself. Now I am going to just do a little touch-ups and add maybe a little details that um, I feel like missing on the image. And uh, one recommendation, when you scratch off um, a lot of ink, it will a little piece of it will hang on your drawing. So to avoid the smudges or the uh, blobs that the ink can cause, just um, you can sweep it gently or use a dry brush um, to be um, on the safe side so nothing going to happen and now you can see I'm adding a little windows and a little tiny details and maybe extra highlights um, and just pretty much finishing up um, the drawing in this point.
Now when the drawing is complete, I'm just going to remove, remove the tape so it's going to have a nice and neat edges. And here you go, this is the drawing that I created today. And thank you for uh, watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day.